But uh, quite a lot happened. Uh, you know, Hakimi was the best man on earth in the past <laughs> last couple of days. <laughs> I'm, not sure. I'm not sure. You know, I, I didn't see your take on the whole Hakimi situation. Because what's, me, what's, what's your, what's your, could you before we get you on the show? What do you make of the whole Hakimi situation? Because to me, I, I think the position that everybody's taking is a lie. Uh, a, a, a divorce proceeding does not go that way. Uh, it, it, it's unless so. You know when you go to court. Uh, I worked. I worked in a law firm in a part of my life and so i know how law is law is more about what you're filing the technicalities can knock you out yeah. but you cannot convince me that a man who earns a million dollars every month right and after earning it transfers the money to his mom you tell me he will not pay divorce fee or alimony or no it's not that's not you see this thing that people are doing this is just drama I think at the end of the day, the woman is still going to be the winner. So let me let me break it down for you to see where it is. Uh, the law, there's something called unveiling of the corporate veil. Where, for instance, if I run a shell company now, like I put myself as a, the, the owner of this company, meanwhile there are directors behind the scene that nobody knows, we should pray that we don't get any problem. The day we get a problem when we go to court, all the directors will come out, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the same way it is right now. They will not, the courts will not attack the money in the mother's account they will attack the money from the point of entry okay so it's not the symptoms but the virus they would say okay from the point where he's earning the money the woman is entitled to this and for how long has he stayed with the woman and all that he has earned it becomes a debt you because another thing we need to look at legally uh, Ashraf Hakimi has never declared bankrupt so he is not bankrupt yeah which means he's been making money there is evidence that he's been any money all these skits when the skit makers are done all these charlatans and clowns are done with whatever they are doing the law itself will take a state and then i've seen other people say uh, come out with things like oh the woman will not pay come on that's crazy. but, but do you think we could have paid more had the had his wealth been under him not with his mother or something like that i still think that the wealth is under him and uh, the wealth of uh, ashraf hakim is still under him uh we might say that he's put it under trust with his mother but the wealth is still under him and the law is going to take its course that's one thing we need to understand that's something we need to understand i'm speaking from a legal standpoint i'm not I'm not going to sit here and talk from a clown and, uh, you know, bandwagon, bandwagon point of view. I'm talking from a legal standpoint, and I know enough in law to be able to speak this way. Uh, and, and, and again, let's look at the flip side of the story. So, divorce, pay, divorce settlement, probably behind closed door, everybody goes that way. That's a, that's a very nice one. Another side to this is, since it's gone this dirty, that woman is going to write a book. There are dirty secret of Ashraf Hakimi. There is no human being in this world who is clean as a whistle. Even a whistle is not clean. People just, that's just a phrase. On, this, on the blowing of whistle, there is speed going inside and it smells. Put a whistle near your nose, you know it's not, it's not, not clean. So, there are dirty secrets of Ashraf Hakimi that will come out eventually. Uh, in the book, Think Big and um, Kick Ass by Robert Kiyosaki and uh, Donald Trump. You might not like Donald Trump, but there are some sense in what he says sometimes. And in the in the page where he was talking about uh, uh, prenup, always sign the prenup. He said something. There's a phrase on that book where he said, "Divorce is a process whereby the person you swore to defend with your life, right? You defend to def to defend with your life." becomes the person you're ready to snuff their life out that's a divorce process so divorce can be neat and it can be very dirty yeah now it is akimi one the wife zero but it's just the first half of the game and that's now where two goes up against west ham in the first half of the game they didn't win it were two goes up in the first half of the game against Liverpool. they didn't win it and and we've seen many of those kind of situations there is the, the the second half and also there could also be a return like this does look to me like a two-legged game or probably a three-legged game as the case may be it is not over here people are just celebrating the goal scored in the in the process of a game that is not done so until all the divorce proceedings are done uh the law the western law does not really uh make it easy for men to just uh take advantage of women like that and if ashraf akimi is being celebrated globally it even puts him in a place because right now what what this does is 
it has exposed the place where his money is. It's like me taking money and putting it in the Cayman Island in an account with my children's name. And then I get into a problem and say, no, I don't get money or all the money are my children's money. You really think that the court will agree to that? The court will not agree now. If I'm owing money, I will pay. Yeah. So if you, the, 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 the marriage will be divorced on the grounds that, yes, you do not, you claim not to have property right now, but you're not bankrupt. There are source of you earning money. They will not put a value to what the woman have worked with you, the value of what you've been earning. They will break it and say, this is what belongs to the woman. Any how you can pay it, pay it. If you need to take back money from your mother, do that. If you need to stop sending money from your earnings now, how would you say, to your mom or to any account, start paying back that money to this woman. That's how the, the case is going to end. I'm not, I mean, the case has not been like, it's not like it's been kicked out of court. Yeah. The, the divorce uh, uh, case have not ended. It's just first pleading, right? So there is a whole, there is a whole lot. There's a gamut of uh, legal paperwork to go through and then eventually we will see who laugh last the world is just having a fun on themselves if anybody believe that story making the round then it shows you how dumb people can be anyway uh luigi ng said what if akimi has uh, directed psg to transfer his wages directly uh to his mom bank account sometimes so we, we should not be asking this type of question who did, who did Paris Saint Germain? He's the one and the boy. He's the one. This is the way you just so, talk. So, when you read that, I stand for your ear. Who Paris Saint Germain employed? Because even if the money is not your mom, you still have a. It's, and, it's and, your money. You still have a. I don't, I don't understand. So, so people will come and say that, okay, maybe when he did that, he was really young because he started making money at a young age. So maybe he can't handle a certain amount of money. So his mom was like, you know, you see the closeness with his mom. Then that, that money, that. Then that, that money is in, in law. It's called in money held up in trust. You're going to break it now. Nah. You're going to break that trust. It's not like it's an irrevocable trust. Okay, even if it's an irrevocable trust, somebody is entitled to something, right? Does Akimi drive a car? Yes, he drives a flashy car. How does he get the car? Is the mother the, the owner of the car? If you like putting the, the car in the name of the mother, what are you saying? We, see, eh, <laughs> when, we, when, when we talk law, you know the thing I like about law? Law, no, they consider sentiment and emotion. Law, no, they consider skit makers. That's not their business. The law deals with facts of the matter if they like it make akimi mama name they inside the doc the the paris Saint german document saying nah, akimi mama mrs akimi and i decide who they play the ball leave lord this see, see leave this one uh uh nah, mama the employer be nah, nah, mama nine 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 mrs akimi for the back of the jersey abi <laughs> mama go so go play for paris Saint german film meeting Share the government. So there's just for you know for the people out there. I mean there's a, there's a rape uh, allegations on Akimi. So maybe that was what well led to the divorce case filed by the by the woman. So trying to seek all these uh, financial benefits from Akimi and all that. But I mean I'm trying to. This thing is not new in football. I mean, it's been happening. You know not just football as well. We've seen other divorce cases from so so somebody, people. As somebody well. somebody yeah. just asked a question. He said, uh, "Is it Ken?" He said, "I want to ask that in a situation where." Uh, a man is requesting for a divorce and still ends up paying. Is the law not one sided? I'm in support that the law will always ensure you pay your debt. Okay, so uh, let's first try and understand that in this whole divorce matter, there are women that have also paid uh, half of their wealth to men in a yeah. divorce case. The law is actually not one sided. First, what triggers the divorce? is the man the one at fault or the woman the one at fault if a man is asking for a divorce and let's say the woman have cheated and the woman is any more than the man and this divorce have not caused the man emotional damage and you know problem that's what divorce considers the woman is going to pay the man <laughs> there are men that women there are men that are ending off the back of their divorces yeah. okay so it's just that let me tell you how it works when a man beats a woman at home when there's domestic violence and woman is the victim the noise is everywhere when a man is a victim of domestic violence men are too ashamed to come out and say it so they don't come out and say oh this has happened so you may not be hearing cases if you go online and google and check for divorce cases where men have been paid divorce settlement you will see quite a load of them men that have earned settlement of the back of divorce you would see quite a load of them but the woman must be any more than you 
and she must be the one responsible for a problem that has caused the divorce that's when you would end from it well, man, let's go. Well, moving on on the show i was trying to you know think if there's any nigerian football this has happened to i mean but one recently came to mind there's there's a lady i mean that's been tagging us you know back and forth on on this same kind of alimony kind of issue of a no 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 of a, a nigerian player i think the day or so okay yeah, 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 yeah so this, this i was actually trying that, to get across to that woman yeah she's been like about the day is my guy she's been tagging you know posting the child uh the day should come for his children and all that but that's this by the way you are listening to a legbeta tv radio